sex-linked genes. These are genes found either on the X or Y chromosomes, and they're responsible for inherited differences among males and females. In humans, females have two X chromosomes, double X, while males have one X and one Y chromosome, XY. There are two types of sex-linked genes, Y-linked genes, genes located on the Y chromosome, and X-linked genes, genes located on the X chromosome. A common example is color blindness in humans. Color blindness is a condition where individuals have difficulty distinguishing certain colors, typically red and green. It is an X-linked trait. Color blindness is more common in males than in females. Let's begin with females. Since color blindness is recessive and normal vision is dominant, even though a female has color blindness on one of her chromosomes, it would be canceled out by the normal vision gene, which is dominant. Thus, the female will have normal vision, but would be a carrier of color blindness. And there would be a possibility that her children will inherit color blindness. On the other hand, a male has XY chromosomes. Since he has only one X chromosome, he will have color blindness because there's no second X chromosome to cancel it. Thus, a male with color blindness on his X chromosome would automatically be colorblind. To sum up, an XX female has normal vision. An XX female with one colorblind gene will have normal vision but be a carrier of the gene, and an XX female with both colorblind genes will be colorblind. An XY male will have normal vision if his X chromosome does not carry the colorblind gene, but an XY male with a colorblind gene on his X chromosome will be colorblind. That's the reason why more males are colorblind than females. Another sex-linked gene is hypertrichosis pinnae oris. This refers to excessive hair growth on the outer ear, and it's an example of a Y-linked trait. What does that mean? It means the gene responsible for this condition is found only on the Y chromosome. Since only males have a Y chromosome with XY sex chromosomes, only males can inherit and show this trait. Females, on the other hand, have two X chromosomes, double X, and no Y chromosome. Because of that, they cannot inherit this gene. They cannot be affected, and they cannot be carriers. Now let's look at inheritance. If a male with hypertrichosis has children with a female, here's what happens. All of his sons will inherit his Y chromosome and will also have hypertrichosis. All of his daughters will inherit his X chromosome, not the Y. So they will not have the condition and will not be carriers. To sum it up, hypertrichosis pinnae oris is passed from father to son. Only males can be affected. Females are not affected and are not carriers. That's how Y-linked inheritance works and why this trait only shows up in males. Next up, sex-limited traits, which are traits expressed in only one sex, even though both sexes may carry the genes for them. Sex-limited traits happen mainly due to biological and hormonal differences between males and females. These traits are generally autosomal, which means they are not found on the X or Y chromosomes. A great example is lactation in cattle. Lactation is dominant, while non-lactation is recessive. Let's see this in a table. XY and XX represent the chromosomes of males and females, while the big letter L represents the gene for lactation, dominant, and the small letter L represents non-lactation, recessive. In females, both dominant L equals lactating, one dominant L and one recessive L equals still lactating. Both recessive L equals not lactating. On the other hand, in males, both dominant L equals not lactating. One dominant L and one recessive L adding not lactating. Both recessive L adding not lactating. All males, regardless of their genotype, exhibit the phenotype of not lactating. This means that even if males carry the genes for lactation, they do not express this trait due to the lack of the necessary hormonal environment. Lactation is only limited to females. Other examples include Adam's apple, a sex-limited trait in males. Menstruation, a sex-limited trait in females. Let's talk about sex-influenced traits, which are autosomal traits expressed in both sexes, but more frequently in one than the other. These traits are highly influenced by hormones, Hormones in males and females are chemical messengers that control growth, development, and reproduction. In males, the main sex hormone is testosterone. It is produced in the testes and is responsible for traits like facial hair, deep voice, and sperm production. In females, the main sex hormones are estrogen and progesterone. These are produced in the ovaries and control the menstrual cycle, breast development, and pregnancy. 
both males and females also produce small amounts of each other's hormones, but in different levels. The example of sex-influenced traits, or the traits that are influenced by the hormones, is baldness. In males, both dominant B equals bald. One dominant B and one recessive B equals still bald. Both recessive B equals not bald. On the other hand, in females, both dominant B equals bald. One dominant B and one recessive B equals not bald. Both recessive B equals not bald. Males are more likely to express baldness because the B allele is dominant and only one copy is needed to express the trait. Females need two copies of the B allele BB to be bald, which makes baldness much less common in females. Other examples include aggression, a sex-influenced trait in males, and breast cancer susceptibility, more common in females but present in both sexes.